So I kind of wanted to review this sneaker, but I knew a lot of people would make a video on it as well. So uh, I had an idea. What would happen if I asked somebody who knew absolutely nothing about sneakers to review a sneaker that almost every sneakerhead knows everything about? The following is totally unscripted, which just says a lot about what an absolute maniac Kenneth is. Enjoy this beautiful train wreck. Hey, what's up friends and family? I am Hans Abdullah. I'm a Malaysian sneakerhead, and today I am joined by a good friend of mine. I, I, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect that. Hey, what's up friends and family? I am Hans Abdullah. I'm a Malaysian sneakerhead, and today I am joined by... <laughs> I'm Ken. And I am a clueless sneakerhead. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting. I'm, I have a shoe here. He has never seen it before. Well, he might have seen it before because I posted it on Instagram. But he has never actually seen it up close. Nope. Yeah, so we're going to get your first impressions on it. Sounds good. Yeah, this is going to be fun, man. Let's get to it. Play my intro. <laughs> Alright, so before we start off, um, Ken, would you mind introducing yourself to our very tiny audience because I don't have that many followers? <laughs> so, I grew up basically knowing that a shoe is, you know, something that you wear on your feet and it gets you from point A to point B and sometimes it looks nice and sometimes it makes squeaky noises and that's pretty much my entire knowledge of shoes. I think they still have laces. Uh, do, 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 do they still do that? that? Not, not all of them, man. Okay, they, not all of them. Yeah, you used to play a lot of basketball, right? What was your sneaker of choice back when you played basketball? My sneaker of choice would be the uh, the USJ5 barefoot khaki. <laughs> <laughs> so, the shoe that I'm about to introduce to you uh, is a shoe that a lot of people in the sneaker hit will, will immediately know. I'm gonna get your thoughts and opinions on it. Sounds good. Okay, so these are the shoes. Ooh, nice. So, I've been doing uh, a lot of home uh, renovation work uh, recently okay. and a lot of the things I've been looking at is countertops and one of the materials that I've been looking at yeah. is terrazzo and terrazzo is this cut stone <laughs> kind of pattern so I like the homey feel that the box gives off it gives it's, off a homey feel yeah a homey feel for the homies <laughs> I like the the acrobat on the on the front. The acrobat. Yeah, the he's pretty flexible because yeah, as we approach the the twilight years of our twenties, we become more and more inflexible, both in thinking and uh, <laughs> in our <laughs> ligaments. Okay, so, so box gets a nine out of ten from me. Okay, so just based on the box itself, do you know what brand this is? Yes, it is a. It is a air. Jordan. There we go. It's an oh, Air Jordan. Yeah, it's an Air Jordan. You mentioned what? Countertops and all that sh yep. This is called the cement print. This guy here is called cement print. I tried not to look at the shoe, but it's been with me for a while, so I already, I've already looked at the shoe. I already had my first impression, so I don't get to share this moment with you. Alright. So, you do the honors. You just open up the shoe. Before before we open up the shoe, yeah. I want to ask you a little bit. Give me a little history on why it's called the Air Jordan. Is this, does it have something to do with Air space. <laughs> that is supposed to be Michael Jordan doing the dunk. Uh, I think it's for an advertisement. Oh, so that, that, that's yeah. Jordan. That's Jordan, man. Okay. See the bolt hit? Alright, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah! That, that's, uh, that's Jordan. <laughs> let's, let's get to it. Yeah, let's get da, to it. Da, 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 da. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And those are the shoes. What am I looking at? And you know what? I'll tell you what it's called. Okay. No, what do you think? So, what it's, do you think I, I know it's an, it's an air. It's a Nike Air Jordan. You're kind of there. You're kind of there. Mochaccino. <laughs> this one doesn't really have a special nickname. Vanilla Cream Bean. Yeah, it, it, no, since it doesn't have a special nickname, right. you can come up with the nickname. All right. DJ Khaled does it all the time. I call these Bahamas, baby blue waters. It's a collaboration with a brand called Off White. Okay. The colorway is a sail colorway. It's S A I L mm -hmm. because that's what they call this weird beigey color. This one is just called the Jordan Four Off White Sail. First impressions. What do you think of it in hand? It kind of looks like the old school shoes that you kind of leave out in the sun a little bit too long. You're not gonna get shit 
from like the other kids at school, you know? Yeah. Okay, you know, if you wear like pristine white shoes, then they're gonna stab me at Jay's. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. As, as, as we wore Jay's back in high school, yes? Yep, yep, yep. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> pretty robust. <laughs> mm, it's got a good bouquet. It's, it's glue from China. Yep. Fresh uh, bouquet, glue from China. Guangzhou. I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> uh, you you could give this to someone in you know the uh, Siberian military somewhere that where there's a lot of snow. Uh, it's gonna blend just right in with that pristine uh, snow and also it's gonna help them with the, the tactical dunking. Tactical dunking. Yeah, I like that. You can actually sell these. Okay. These are like a hundred ringgit. Yeah. So th these are like the things that. So again, going back to what I said about the military zip ties. You need you need to incapacitate someone. Pow! Tie someone to a uh, bike rack. So never in the history of this shoe, since it was created a few weeks back, they would expect someone would use it for military purposes. It's a it's a tactical shoe. I already mentioned how uh, this is the perfect. Uh, shoe for a snow going assassin. I would like to also point out the uh, little tail here, and that's gonna help for uh, water resistance. Yeah. And that's gonna help you, uh, you know, in an aquatic maybe <laughs> situation. This is so impractical. No one's gonna play basketball in this. Now, may now people usually take them off. People okay, usually so take pe that one people off. People take this people off. People don't take off the other one. Okay. So, so wait, so people play basketball in this? Yeah. No, people don't even play basketball in this. Why? It's a basketball <laughs> shoe. The thing about the off-white collaborations, they've off-white has done a lot of collaborations with Jordan Bear. Right. The number one thing that people don't like about the shoe is the fact that it becomes yellow almost instantly. As soon as the sun even like breathes on, does the sun breathe? Uh, as soon as the as sun the, even as the sun does, yes. Yes. As soon as the sun like <sighs> exhales on it. It immediately, immediately turns yellow. Right. I think the designer of Off White, Virgil Abloh, mm -hmm. that's the name. Vir say it, Virgil Abloh. Virgil Abloh. Yeah. Um, I think that guy. He, if you say it three times in front of the mirror, he comes out. <laughs> I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. He. I think he already made it yellow from the get go. Right. So that you don't get disappointed. So basically, this shoe was pure white, but it, now you see it's yellowish, just because of the sun. So you don't get that with the shoe. It doesn't transform to something else. It stays the way it is. It stays true to itself. Right. So do you like the color better because of that? I, I do. This this is a poser shoe. Yeah. And this is a is a closer shoe. This is a shoe that when it becomes famous, it forgets its friends. This yeah. Is that kind yeah, of shoe. That, that is that shoe. Yeah. Yeah. But we want to be this shoe. We want to be this shoe. We want to be this shoe. You know. So let let let's take uh, a closer look. At the uh, the front of the sneaker. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you've got this um, star pattern. You've got this star pattern. The only other time I've seen this pattern mm -hmm. uh, is you know you're shopping for for something abrasive. You wanna like kind of clean a dish, or in this case, you wanna clean the court. Oh. Yeah. Then clean that, the court. Uh, then that's where you sweep it <laughs> up, man. There we go. Yeah. Blah. I can't do it. <laughs> it's a shoe for the. Uh, the breadwinner, it's a shoe for the military, and it's a shoe for the homemaker. You, this... can, you, can, you can use it to clean plates. <laughs> yeah, you can use it to clean plates in the court. Uh... <gasps> oh god. <laughs> alright, alright, and then... I'm dying here. <laughs> I'm, okay, and I'm assuming that there's a practical purpose to that also, and... Uh, that... Traction. Traction, yes. Uh, traction on the court, and traction on social media where you want to wow the homies. Social media traction, nice. So, social media traction, yes. In terms of traction and, uh, you know, stylish traction, that gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah. Yeah, no other shoe can do it better. You've heard, you, you hear, you've heard this here first. No other shoe does traction better than the, uh, uh, I, the, the cream white, cream bean, Van <laughs> Jordan, vanilla bean. Vanilla bean Jordans. Yeah. Let's move on to the underside of the shoe. So wait, it's called an outsole. Uh, the outsole of the shoe. Hey, you're learning. You're All learning right, things right. now. So at first glance, it kind of looks like a. Uh, it kind of looks like a fantasy map, like a very uh, Tolkien-esque fantasy map, like what you would see in the front of a lot of the rings. You've got you know, the island here, the main island. This is Rohan, and you've got Gondor up here, and that's Mordor. And you know why? Because one doesn't simply. Walk into, Mordor. Walk into Mordor. Yeah, without good traction. One does not simply walk into Mordor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's a shoe that you can bring home to mom. 
Yes. And she'll wear it because it's good for the whole makeup. Uh, okay, so it's funny that you mentioned moms, right? Yeah? Right, right. Because of where am I going with this? <laughs> because would you believe it or not? This, even though this is a larger size, right? This is a woman's shoe. This is a woman's shoe. So the whole shoe is this is a woman's shoe, or this belonged to a this particular shoe belonged to a. It's woman. a woman's Air Jordan Four. Oh shit. Okay. So the whole model is actually made for women. So what do you think about that? You know, it's 2020. Good for them. The shoe is not pink. You're no longer having a feminine shoe with uh, flowers. I'm so sorry if this offends anyone, but uh, you know, you're getting a shoe that, like I said before, is fit to kill. And fit tactical. And tactical. And That's fit the word of the day, tactical. And fit to clean. I will go so far as to say this. Yes. This is the best woman's, <laughs> woman's shoe I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, bolt play! <laughs> bolt play! I, I, I'm, uh, you know, life is a journey. Life is a journey. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> life is a journey where you're constantly learning. And today I've learned that, you know, women can wear heels and women can also wear cream bean, vanilla dream, uh, stone cold killer vanilla shoes. Nice. <laughs> you, heard it, you heard it here first. Can I take this out? Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay. Do whatever you want, man. Okay. Can't take it out. <laughs> okay, if that was my foot, then this is a snug shoe. Now, it seems pretty comfortable uh, to me. Uh, it's got... It's uh, it's soft enough. What are you looking for in there? <laughs> Hi, boy. <laughs> You gave the box a 9 out of 10 for some weird reason. I don't know if, whether you remember giving it 9 out of 10. Did I give it a 9 out of 10? <laughs> you gave it a 9 out of 10. Okay. So you gave the box a very high rating. Okay. What rating would you give the shoe? Uh, I'll, I'll give it a 7. I'll give it, I'll give it a 6.9. So this is the part that a lot of sneakerheads like. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for it, but a lot of sneakerheads want to know how much do you think the market value for this shoe is? With everything you said, with how tactical it is. Alright. So, in Malaysian ringgit. So, the military obviously has a high budget when it comes to high functioning tactical gear. So, I'm gonna assume that this shoe is at least above 5,000 ringgit because you know we want to bring those troops home above 5,000 5, but below 10,000. I'm gonna say that this shoe comes in at 6,900 ringgit. So, there's a website that a lot of people like to use to check prices for sneakers and right. it's called StockX. Listed at about 1,884 USD. Quick mats, which means it's nearly 8,000 ringgit. All right. About it. So, I, I was off by about a thousand, a thousand ringgit. But that's not bad. That's actually a pretty good guess. Okay, so is there anything else you want to plug before we end the video? Um, your Instagram, your whatever you want to do, uh, a cause. Follow my mom on Instagram at Jesse Tan Chuan C. Uh, you know, that's Jesse Tan Chuan C. And uh, you, you want all these people following your mom? You won't regret it, but I will. <laughs> okay, so uh, that has been. Kenneth's review of the Jordan 4 Off-White Sail colorway or Cream Bean, whatever he calls it. Let us know if you enjoy it. Let us know if you want Kenneth to review any other shoe. I'll try to find it. I'll Let us know if you don't want me to review any more shoes. I don't want to hurt this channel. Until the next video, I am Hans Abdullah. I'm a Malaysian sneakerhead and you are... I am Kenneth. I am a clueless... sneaker <laughs> Man. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you.